us, Andrew, taking all of your questions, weather related only, and he's giving us some excellent answers. Hey, Andrew. Hey, good morning, gentlemen. Yeah, this is a great question. I'm kind of surprised we haven't covered it yet already. Uh, with Ask Andrew, I've had over more, more than, I should say, 150 questions I've answered for you since we started this more than a couple of years ago. But here it is, and it's a good one from my good friend in Cindy uh, in Sterling. Is temperature measured in the sun or in the shade. Now you can buy your own thermometer at most hardware stores now. In fact, you can get a little mini weather station uh, kit as well. But this is what it looks like most oftentimes when you purchase it. You've got your display panel here that gives you the readings. And then this is the actual thermometer located in this little guy here. And then this piece usually goes in something what we call a radiation shield, which looks like a little house with different slats on it. So you can get some air that flows through it. So that radiation shield is very crucial when it comes to measuring temperature because it deflects the direct energy coming in from the sun. For example, if you had a radiation shield with a thermometer inside this housing, this would be the temperature it would read on a given day, for example, for this scenario. But if you take that thermometer out of that radiation shield and you expose it to direct sunlight, this is what the thermometer is going to read. It's going to say, Actually, the temperature is 130 degrees. We know that's not realistic. We know what 100 plus degrees feels like. The reason though it's reading that high is because you're exactly exposing it to all of that energy coming in from the sun. There's nothing to shield it from it. So you're essentially measuring the heat inside that thermometer. You're measuring the thermometer's temperature, not the ambient air temperature. So that's why we always measure temperature in the shade, specifically with a housing called a radiation shield. Yeah, makes a lot of sense now, doesn't it? You can read more about this later this morning at WQAD.com. When we come back, of course, not just your top stories we'll recap, but when we'll see a better chance of some showers and storms and some more heat this week, we'll track that.